Hello Aries, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful and amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, welcome back. Thank you very much. Aries and cross watchers, this is a safe channel. It's a safe place for everyone. Of course, everybody here is welcomed. Let's get straight into it, Aries. But first, I will be using the um, energy cards. I just want to see the current energy um, of right now for you, Aries, and also kind of the energy of what's coming towards you. So you may receive some insight that could be romantic or non-romantic. We'll see. Let's get straight into it. All right, Aries, please. Current energies or energies that are coming toward Aries, please, in the near future, please four areas. I'll take out three. There's one. Two, please. Thank you. And the last one. Oh, almost there. I can feel it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have strategy. So this is all about having a plan. What are you planning for? Now, this, of course, could be, and take it as it resonates, of course, Aries, it could be a plan to meet someone in the middle. This could be romantic. This could be if you're studying for something, if you want to expand as well for perhaps your business, your career. It may mean here yeah, you're going to have to take some certain steps to get where you are, um, especially for those that, for example, if your finances, um, home life, work life, romantic life, if it's mm, if it's not the best right now, um, I think you're going to take the appropriate plans here. Mm, you're going to get out of it. This is also my card for those that love to write as well. Um, so things are just going to pretty much explode. But there is a lot of planning here. We'll see. What is it that you're planning to get into or out? Let's see. Ah, it will require a lot of patience. Interesting. Now we've got six plus one is seven, which is the solo number. It is also the number of peace here. I'm actually, um, well, inner peace. I'm actually really seeing here for a lot of you that if you want to change your job, start a business, you very indeed, Aries may have that million dollar idea. Or if you're actually planning on perhaps reuniting with someone or taking it to the next level, it will happen. This reminds me a little bit of that six of ones where the success is guaranteed. We're just going to have to be a little bit patient. That's all. Things have to fall into place. This could be even signing contracts, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. What else do we have? We have the door to value. We've got a lot of money coming in. So you could be planning also, how can I increase my finances and how can I avoid financial constraints? See how and look, interesting to see this. It's number 31 and we've got 13, the reverse. So I think what's happening here, Aries, is that whatever you are planning, this is obviously all in your professional life, it's actually going to be very good. It's going to require patience as well. Now, financial constraints here. We're seeing the bank here, the safe is empty, right? It's got cobwebs here, we've got old contracts there. There's only what, like two coins in there. I think you are gonna be taking the appropriate steps here to avoid this because we've got door to value. Literally, we have the doors opening and you've got money bursting in, wow. Have patience. If you are at the moment feeling a little bit financially constrained, you think, where, how am I ever going to save up money? You know, I've got too many bills. Do not fret. You will get out of this because you're going to be taking the appropriate steps here. Yes, it will require just a little bit of patience, but it is going to happen. We've got door to value, which is going to get you out of that financial constraint here. This sometimes even means seeing like perhaps a financial advisor, um, but I'm seeing you signing something here. Oh my God, this is so weird. I said, I see you signing something and we have a contract. And the sixes are all about healing. Yep, the magician and the mirror. This is the magician. We're manifesting something. So do not worry, Aries, anything to do with your finances and career, if it's challenging, it's going to end. You're actually going to come out winning on top. Of course, if you're going to sign something, always read the fine print. But from you know the door to value, we get out of that financial constraint here. So we've got a lot of money coming in. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, let's get into your beautiful romance, shall we? Let me clear the deck for you first. And let's get straight into it. Now, Aries, as usual, if you do like this reading, if it speaks certain volumes and you're like, wow, that does sound like my reading, etc., 
sounds like my situation, I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading. And the link to your extended Aries is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. You can rent it, you can purchase it. It is available to download to your phone, to your computer. And as I always say, you can do whatever you want with it. It is yours for life. Take screenshots. And it's a wonderful tool as a reference, um, just as things unfold and unravel for you. So I have a feeling that things are gonna happen all together in terms of your professional life and perhaps your romance, romantic love life. So the purpose of your extended, for those that are new to my channel, is that I will be focusing this, this extended reading after this one, of course. Um, it will be 100% from your person. We have a highlighted message there already. Thank you. We've got two highlighted messages there. And yes, yeah, so that will be the purpose of your extended reading. I will be focusing on your person um, and 100% from their perspective about you, Aries. So let's get straight into it. We have highlighted messages. So these are going to be pretty strong messages. They will carry the rest of the reading forward. But let's see, what is it that you can expect in terms of your personal life? Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest moving energy. This is about messages. I always say when we get the Eight of Wands, make sure you charge your phone. <laughs> if you want to hear from a particular person, it's going to be lighting up. But what's this message about? Interesting. What's it? What's the initial conversation going to be about? The lovers, Gemini energy. Wow. Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> You're getting love messages your way. And it's going to happen pretty soon. I'm actually going to say it can definitely happen within the next two weeks. This person is doing an active decision here to reach out to you, regardless if they are long distance or not. Ooh, more please. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I love because you got the two eights, which we know is about eternity here. Um, and eight is a very good number also for finances. So I feel that it's going to be big hot topics here. Your romance, but also your finances, which are going to vastly improve here as well. You may know this person um, from you know work or your studies. You probably think it's going to be a work call <laughs> um, or let's brainstorm, but it's not. This is someone that is going to work very, very hard here to be back in your good books because it seems like perhaps this person was the one that left you. Or did you leave them? But I'm getting honestly Pisces energy that this person tried to emotionally disconnect from you. They left the cups that were upright, the ones that were drowning in the river here. No. Ah, uh, yeah, this person's coming back. We have the King of Wands. Very strong Leo energy, but could also be a fellow Aries or a Sagittarius. This person is coming back. They will be taking action. This is just going to come out of left field. And look at that. We've got the Three of Cups. That is Cancer energy. Um, and this is reconciliation. It may be even just starting off as friends here. But I'm loving this energy here. Perhaps they couldn't commit to you in the past. Perhaps they left you for whatever reason that they gave you. Maybe you didn't get your answers. Um, they're coming back with gusto, passion, big and bold steps towards you. There's a lot happening there. That was a lot to digest, wasn't it? Let's get to your first line. What do we have? Ace of Wands, there you are. We've got a passionate new start with this person. I'm just already seeing like your belly. It's going to light that fire in your belly. It's going to get you excited again. For some of you, I don't know why I'm seeing that this person is really connected here to your professional life. Or well, they may, might even say, let me help you or let me give you some ideas. We've got a passionate, passionate new start here. Wow, this is what they want. It's ahead of the reading. Aries, I'm inclined to say you want this as well. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is someone that sees not only, of course, love and we've got the physical side of the relationship. They're not coming back because of that. This is someone here that really wants to take care of you financially here as well. They are definitely a family person. The king is looking to the future. Now, for some of you, this may have been a third party. I am seeing two kings. If you know there was no third party, I'm seeing your person just embodying the energy of the king of wands that takes action and the king of pentacles, which is after security and stability, commitment or marriage here with you. Mm, and the queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, they, oh, okay, really nice. I'm seeing, yes, there's a lot of people around this connection, which is probably re the reason why your person did walk away or decided we can't do this anymore. For some of you, this definitely could have been distance as well. Maybe they just didn't know how it was going to work out. Um, I love that I'm seeing here that you're really looking out for number one. You're looking out for you. 
self-respect, self-love, self-value, really putting yourself first. Now you know the true meaning of self-love. It's not just massages, which is beautiful. It's just putting yourself first. But this person here is coming to give you that cup of love. Do you, do you want this? Will you accept it? Because already I'm getting here a, a new start and they're saying it's you. It's for Aries. Second line, please. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the fastest night. We have four nights and this is the fastest one. They literally cannot get too fast enough. All nights, regardless which one you get, Aries are about messages and changes. This will be fast moving changes. I feel this person wants to pick up where you left off and just go fast, 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 fast. And let's commit to each other. Let's marry each other, for example. Yeah, messages, they literally cannot get to you. There's something they want to express to you. And I feel like you're just sitting there thinking, oh my, this is happening very, very fast. <laughs> it is because the eight of wands is a sudden flurry of activity. It's quick movement. It's rapid changes. It's like boom, 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 one after another. Let's get to the beating heart of your reading. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Choices, decisions, weighing up your options here. Again, this can also show as a side note that our finances at the moment are very, very stretched you are stretching your resources here i'm really happy to say aries that whatever you are working on because i feel like a lot of you would prefer to work on your own like self-employed or even just get to that high level in your career it is gonna happen that's why we got where is it because i don't actually want to show you because i'm such a visual person that we've got that million dollar idea that's going to get you out of this from something that's bursting and then this no more beautiful so that's a side note. Career finances are going to explode before the end of the year. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not divert. But going back to this, yes, apart from here feeling, oh, my finances are constrained. Again, we could be receiving financial help from someone. But this is you in regards to this person is weighing up your options. It's like, yes, no. Mm, do I respond? Do I go in enthusiastic like them or do I hold back? So, okay, it's just a bit of choices here on your end. Do I fully accept this Ace of Wands? Do I fully accept this cup here? Why? Oh, wow. I think you will, Aries. You got the star. Major there for Aquarius. It's the card of destiny. Meant to be. You're still holding on to hope and faith here. Even if it's just a tiny, like a little thread here that's about to snap, you're still holding on to it. Clearly, you are each other's wish fulfillment. And this card, just like the Three of Cups, comes with an enormous amount of healing, hope, faith, renewal. We're washing away any hurt. For example, Aries, if this person did reject you, if they were the ones that walked away, or if they just gave you some lousy, lame excuse, or if they lied to you, this is all about healing now. Ooh, I like the intentions why they're coming back. They want to make things right. Let's get to the last line. We got the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay, pretty apparent here that this person here is literally hell-bent and obsessed on having a brand new beginning with you. Now, the devil, Capricorn energy, we've got more Capricorn here. I'm seeing that this person could be a bit emotionally attached to you as well. In other words, you provide this happiness, this sense of, I feel so needed and special. They can't get that from anywhere else. All right, is that good? No, it can be a little bit borderline toxic. Your person literally here could be also over drinking, gambling, even overeating, shopping, doing something in their shadow side just to deal with the fact that they need to hurry up and present to you this new opportunity. Mm. Now, if there was a third party, I am seeing that could be quite toxic because if your person here was trying to balance you and someone else, that did not work. In fact, it severely worked against your person. More, please. Let's talk about the near future. What else will they do? They're going to take action. And they're seeing you as their person because we have the queen and the king of wands. Just as a heads up, I am, I mean, listen, we're all grown ups here and I won't get too graphic. Just knock the camera then when I said that there are, uh, there is a lot of lustful, intimate thoughts here about you. But they're not coming back just because of the physical side areas, because there is a lot of love here. Of course there is. But the physical side of the relationship, the passion is very strong. But in the near future, they will be taking action. Action towards you. What's the outcome here after they do come? Yeah, you got one of my favorite tens, the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is having it all. Abundant. It's, it's your happily ever after, but it's more tangible versus the Ten of Cups, which is more emotional. Um, this is that commitment. 
It's that security. It's honestly, it's just feeling stable, committed, married, children, carrying on family traditions here. Ooh, all right. And as a plus side, there is a lot of money coming in here for you, Aries. So whether you change jobs, you get promoted, you get a raise, you start your own business, or maybe you've had your own business and it really was struggling, boom, something's gonna take off because it's meant to be. Ooh. So it's all gonna happen all together, of course. <laughs> or else what's the point? It always happens all together. Your career, finances, and your personal life, they're all going to explode all together. And there is that Knight of Swords again. Look at that. Here they come. I keep hearing that. Or here I come. Here I come. I want to commit to you. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. <laughs> I got the star again. I think you want this, Aries. I think it's almost like I'm hearing for once and for all, let's close this chapter. Let's start again, but let's do it right. Let's do it right. Let's do it like adults. Let's do it right. The issue was never you though, Aries. It was always your person. So whether they had a toxic third party or they had some toxic traits here. Yeah, six of cups. Reconciliation. I think they're working on it. Two more. Last one. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, ace of wands again. You both want this. We've got a passionate new start and it's quite promising. All the aces, doesn't matter which ace, they're always saying this is the beginning of something. King of wands and the five of wands. Why is your person worried here though? Upon, you know, I mean, you got the king of wands twice as we can see, we got it there and now we've got it here. They're taking action, Leo energy. Why are they worried here that there could be an argument? or they don't want to rub you the wrong way. It could be because of how they rejected you, how they walked away as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know, it, it's almost like people who really care for you, Aries, might actually intervene saying, you know, stay away from Aries after what you did. You have no right coming back to Aries, but look at that. They're still going to come back. I don't know what's going on, but their confidence is, how can I say this? It's a lot more um, stronger than ever because they're coming back with, look at that, the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, my happily ever after. And look at that, the Queen of Swords. This is definitely someone that you have history with. This is someone that could be separated, divorced here, the swords pointing up. Yeah, they're just gonna get straight to the point. Ooh, then in other words, they're not gonna waste time. Let's talk about that Ace of Wands. We've got a passionate beginning here for the both of you. More please, the devil again. Ooh, all right, Aries, I just got to say this. <laughs> wow. Um, I haven't seen this in a very long time. I have seen it in the past. After 25 years, I have seen this, but I haven't seen this in a while. There is a lot of obsession here, that fixation, that tunnel vision that they need to get to because we have two devils and sandwiched in the middle is I need to say something. I need to express something. I need to do it now. I can't waste any more time within the next few weeks. Another thing though, with the Ace of Wands and the Devil, there is a lot of, um, how can I say this without sounding X-rated, there's a lot of passionate thoughts towards you. There's a lot of intimate thoughts here, late night fantasies. And well, listen, listen, honestly, they can't wait to like, well, I suppose, jump back into bed with you, but please do not fear. They are not coming back just because of that, because we have the star, we have the 10 of cups, we have the 10 of pentacles, but uh, lately, wow. I mean, this is the card of extremes. If your person was tempted though, because that is a card of temptation, if they were tempted by someone or something else, that's why they have that desperation. Because every time I see the Knight of Swords, I hear the word desperation. I'm desperate. I'm desperate now to come back and clear the air now with Aries. They want to do right by you. Hmm. I think they're also trying to overcome any dependencies they have. Let's talk about that King of uh, Pentacles. The Moon. Pisces, Cancer Energy. Yeah, let's get some more air here. We need to clear the air. I've got some um, white sage here. There's a lot going on here. So emotions are running very high. And I think Aries, your intuition here is telling you that all is not lost. I feel like your person's intuition is a little bit blocked here though. But um, this can often show a third party or a secret love affair that was happening. For example, if your person was committed or married to someone else, I think that you were the third party. Whether you realized it or not, 
Either way, your person was dealing with someone very, very toxic here. There was a lot of mystery, a lot of secrets, and now they want to come clean, especially with the Queen of Swords, because the sword is pointing up. They're going to get straight to the point. I keep hearing that. Let's talk about that Queen of Cups. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they are coming in. They say they want a brand new start, but this time they want it to be something promising, value, something that's not fluffing around. It's tangible. It's a commitment. It's moving in together. Of course, the choice is yours. In fact, all of this is Capricorn energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. It could be strong in their chart, but this is someone that's coming back a lot more grounded versus in the past. Mm, no, I couldn't say that. The Knight of Swords. More, please. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, lots of love and intimacy right here towards you. Mm. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, listen, you know, we all have, you know, these thoughts, but they can't stop themselves. Um, another thing, though, really good to mention here, and this is a very strong Gemini here, is that um, not only does your person here want to come back and express it, the lovers is about a choice. They're actively choosing here to make things right. And I think they need to address this. Mm. I'm hearing it could be over drinking again. Like I said, um, gambling. And sometimes this can actually lead to like, as people call it, sex addiction. They might be working on that. Let's talk about that two of pentacles because this is all about, um, basically, this is your shot to um, take. Let's see. Yep, the page of wands are giving you good news. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, and I feel like they've been holding this in for a while because the moon is saying not everything is as it seems. If you think your person's happy without you, if you think they're dating or moving on, no. No, no, no. In fact, if there was a third party here with the threes and the devil, a toxic third party here, I think they're giving you good news here that that has ended. And they're hoping, crossing their fingers, that you will perceive that as good news. And what I absolutely love, that whatever was toxic, the star is healing it. It softens the effect of these cards. More, please. The Magician. Gemini Virgo Energy. Wow. This is the Master Manifesto. Having all the tools you needed now, probably not in the past, but now you have all the tools that both of you need now to have this solid brand new beginning. I'm really picking up that with this third party, there was a lot of manipulation, a lot of lies, rumors, where it makes you look like the bad person here. Jealousy, yeah, mm-mm. Catty energy, jealousy and all of that. But now your person wants to start fresh. Things got very messy. Let's talk about the devil. Six of Wands, Leo energy. Yep, this is personal victory. Despite anything toxic or um, if there was any bullying, control here, if your person was being used for their finances, whatever happened is that we are having personal victory. But this toxic third party, bear in mind, will be still hanging around. The reason why I say that is because we have the Seven of Swords hiding there in the shadows. There it is. Not everybody will be clapping. In fact, it's not so much the people on your side, it is the people on your person's side, such as an ex, a jealous friend, family members, co-workers, or they just don't want you to be together. But the six is all about that personal victory. It's overcoming, in fact, anything toxic. Let's talk about the Queen of Wands. In the near future, they will be taking action. Yes. Okay, you got the sun, Leo energy. We've got pure happiness. And even better is that the sun, the sun and the star, we've got some challenging cards. They are gonna soften the effect. Pure happiness, joy, blessings, bliss, the return of physical health, happy, healthy children. If you want to travel to a hot, sunny place, it's indeed going to happen, most likely toward the end of the year or start of the year. Wow. They're going to make you happy. Whatever action this person takes towards you, it is going to make you really, really happy. Now, the sun is the card of illumination. So whatever was hidden with the moon or if there's anything that you think, I don't know why they rejected me. I don't know why they left me. Um, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about gossip or rumors or lies about me. You're going to find it all out because your person's making things right. Let's talk about the outcome. The ten of pentacles with the five of pentacles. 
that here is um, Taurus energy. That is a rejection card. I'm thinking that your person is going to leave someone out in the cold. One more, please. Yeah, because we got the Six of Pentacles. More Taurus energy. That is li strongly linked to divorce, separation, spousal support, child support here. Yeah, Eight of Wands again. Yeah, you're going to get messages about it. They're going to let you know. Your person, so the main thing here is that your person is distancing themselves permanently from any toxic person or group of people here that ultimately never wanted you to come together now. And now I think your person is putting an end to that. The totality, the finality, I'm seeing separation, divorce, and we've got loving messages here of your person coming towards you. Wow. I know that was a lot to digest, Aries, but there is a lot going on here from now, even until January. Either way, we've got passionate new starts here. You've got your happily ever after and your person is going to make things right here. That's what I like. They want to make things right. Wrong. Sorry, let me backtrack because I talk too fast. Right all the wrongs that they have done here. And if you thought that this was only a physical relationship, mm -mm, it's not. There is actually love here. So in your optional extended, this is what I'm focusing on because both of you clearly want this passionate new start and I feel it's going to happen. But I really, really want to find out what's going on in your person's life. So can we do readings on other people on their behalf? Absolutely. Yes. And I'm going to get straight into it. I'll use four different decks, different ones, and I'm going to jump straight in. I want to see what's going on in their life and why they're coming back as well. And also Aries, for those that haven't checked the community page on this channel, um, I have made an announcement. If you scroll down that I will be finally reopening personal readings once more towards the end of the year. So it'll be my pleasure to work with you one on one. Aries, thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the other side with the extended. The link is below um, and I wish you the very best. Please take care, Aries. Bye.